Hello everybody, my name is Pedro Santiago and I'm here to present the research paper Optimization of Building Facade Solar Protection Design in an Urban Context, co-written with Vicente Blanca Jimenez. We're both from Universidad Politecnica de Valencia, Spain. Since half the world's population lives in cities that collectively consume three quarters of global resources, with predictions of their increase to three quarters by 2015, it is imperative to understand and create strategies to minimize energy consumption in this particular environment. Current energy efficiency directives in EU buildings, the NZ directories, impose new requirements on the construction and renovation of buildings with the aim of creating a, a NZ build-up landscape. Solar protection design in Mediterranean countries represent both a functional and cultural architectural element used for centuries to ensure the comfort of its occupants and nowadays to minimize energy consumption. The building's energy demand counts on both active and passive systems. Passive systems work naturally with the local sustainable sources. Solar energy is the focus of this research. Solar gains can contribute positively to the thermal energy performance of the building in the form of passive gains or, negatively, in case of need due to lack of exposure or formal and material lack of control. In an environment with no constraints and limitations, the building can fully make use of any type of strategy. Nonetheless, the urban landscape with the surroundings built environment presents a great challenge to achieve this goal. The approach of maximizing the use of solar energy, whether for the active conversion using solar thermal and or photovoltaic collectors, or by bioclimatic passive strategies, allows the reduction of heating and lighting energy. The design team is presented with a challenging task that can be overwhelming in the urban context. To work towards this goal, computational modeling directed to the availability of solar radiation can be a tool to support design decisions for architecture and urbanism. The designer will seek information to back his design decisions. However, the probability of finding an ideal solution by manual trial and error method is extremely time-consuming and does not guarantee the optimal final result. Manual calculations can be made for determining the best solar envelope using the solar azimuth and elevation data alongside the projected shadows of neighboring constructions or context. However, manual calculations are a long and sometimes inaccurate process for urban environments. Nonetheless, today, with the aid of digital calculation designers can create workflows that may overcome these obstacles. This paper proposes a simple method to generate solar envelopes that consider multi-directional requirements for access to direct solar gain in complex urban environments. This method was developed for the evaluation of the potential of construction in existing areas in the cities of Porto and Valencia, integrating calculations of solar direct access from environmental computational simulations generation of solar envelopes using parametric design and optimization plugins. The articulation between BIM methodology and evolutionary algorithms to optimize the solution is our proposal. The environmental simulation tools are both from the parametric tool as well as from the BIM tool. The multi-optimization tool runs in the parametric environment showing the results in real time in BIM software. The urban models to integrate the proposal was exported and rebuilt automatically in a BIM program. ARCHICAD that allows the connection in real time with the visual programming to Grasshopper where the algorithm was developed. The urban context of Porto is a typical dense block in the Campania district, an historical site. The case study building is also a typical house with historical architectural characteristics and the facade to study is the south facing one. In the city of Porto, tiles have a geometric designs inherited from ancient cultures. These patterns will be the basis for the skin design, parametrically built and fine-tuned. The file pattern can be controlled parametrically through attractor points that result in a more open and cl or closed sub-pattern, allowing the control of incident sunlight. The urban models to integrate the proposal were imported from GIS and integrated with the BIM software, allowing real-time connection with the visual programming tool where the algorithm was developed. Similar characteristics characterize the case study in Valencia. Also an historic consolidated block with a building presenting historic characteristics. And the facade to study is also the south-facing one. 
The same principles were applied in Valencia. The traditional tiling in this city is the Trencadish. The Trencadish geometry was obtained by a Delaunay triangulation. The pattern can be tighter or looser depending on the amount of points that work as a parametric variation for achieving the desired sunlight control. The connection articulation with the GIS system, parametric design and beam tools allow the creation of the site model as well. In the first phase, a study of the solar potential of the site is carried out in a period of one year. The base of both case studies without the solar control scheme was analyzed for both the hot months of the year, which considered the period from the 21st June to the 21st of September, being the remaining months considered the colder period. Even though the climates are quite different, as Valencia is much hotter than Porto, for comparison reasons the analysis periods were the same. Uh, after running the optimization plugin and the analysis focus on the results of annual radiation values and time consuming to finish the optimization. The results are then compared. The cross of parametric and beam tools represents the key for the methodology and workflow, creating several advantages. Working with real-time data uh, informed des design decisions and extending the advantages of each method between each other allows the project team to work with the best of both worlds. For Porto, the results uh, showed the improvement uh, of a total of 65% of less radiation. The distribution of this improvement was of 61% on the hot period and of 63% on the colder months. For Valencia, the improvement register was of a total of 35% of less radiation. The distribution of this improvement was of 29% on the hot period and of 38% on the colder months. The type of pattern represented the main difference between uh, the two case studies. Its pattern design and variables resulted in different approaches and results. The method worked but can still be improved. The advantage of the proposed method is the real-time workflow, a very important factor in the development of the work process in the initial phase of the project to constitute a work system that goes through the concept implementation process, its analysis and optimization processes, in this case using evolutionary processes. Further research can be carried out for other situations that influence the interior comfort of the building. The articulation between us, our environment and the correct technology to inform our decisions as designers can bring us closer to a more sustainable solution, better for both of us. I would like to thank everyone for the opportunity. Gracias. Obrigado.